Welcome to this free immigration help channel. Now in this video I wanted to uh, kind of make an update uh, regarding what are the programs. Uh, in fact I will talk about several programs in this video because this update that just came out recently from USAS uh, on January 6, 2023 specific, uh, it goes out, it's applicable to a few different programs that are out there. So one of them is Uniting for Ukraine and actually if you've been subscribed to this channel you remember I've made a video specifically about that program on how you can uh, be a petitioner, be a supporter for somebody who is in Ukraine, right, and how you can Help them out, help them come here to the United States. Uh, so this will be an update for that program, and also it will be um, an update and kind of a new video for uh, Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans. And, and you can see I have uh, the front page of USCIS.gov website open in front of me. This is the official United States Citizenship and Immigration Services website. There is government website. All the information that I provide on this uh, channel is uh, directly from this website. I'm not an immigration attorney. I'm not an immigration practitioner. This is not a legal advice in any way. Again, all of the information is from the official source that I recommend you opening up and doing your own um, research on yourself anyway. Okay, so let's start with Uniting for Ukraine since I already done a video on it and we will talk about the update and we, then we will switch to the second program which is a process for Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans and Venezuelans which is exactly the same program uh, process for both of the programs. Uh, so you will see why I'm kind of putting them all together in one video because because it's an important update that just recently came out just less than a month ago on January 6, 2023. So what is new? Okay, now you are no longer filing the regular form I-134, which is the Declaration of Financial Support, which if you remember, if you watched the Uniting for Ukraine video that I did on this channel, where I explained the process of how to fill out the form, we are no longer doing it. Now there's an update, there's a brand new form, which is practically exactly the same. That's why it's called Form I-134A, all right? But here's the main difference. It is now only available online, so you cannot file it in paper anymore. So you, uh, for those people who are not computer proficient, unfortunately, you'll have to figure out how to do it because it's only available online. So we're going to go uh, actually open up the form. We're not going to talk about the eligibility because that stuff did not change. It's all the same. Um, so if you are interested, if you if you if you're not familiar with Uniting for Ukraine and you're just now watching this video and you're like, hey, I want to file that. I want to do that. Uh, I have a relative in Ukraine or I have a friend in Ukraine who I want to be a sponsor for for them to come here to the United States check out the separate video that I've done on that specific program where I talk about the eligibility, where I talk about all the forms. Here we will just talk about the form I-134A, which I'll open in the next step, but we will not go to that yet. Yet, we will talk about this program right here, which is for Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans. And the reason why we're talking about it is because, yes, it is the same exact form, and now it's only you're filing this you should not file i-134 anymore declaration of financial support you have to file the new form i-134a which is online request to be a supporter and declaration of financial support so it's kind of like two forms in one but it's pretty much exactly the same we'll talk about it in a moment right now okay so now you know that both programs ukrainian and cuban haitian nicaraguan and venezuelan same exact process. So let's go to the uh, I-134A online request to be a supporter and declaration of financial support. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast in this video. But like I said, if you do need more information on this kind of a sponsorship program that is uh, available now um, as of what is it, February 5th, 2023, Again, as you can see, things keep constantly updating on USAS.gov. So I highly recommend you going and checking it out yourself, making sure that it is still active. Because sometimes, you know, so I'm making video now, six months down the road, things might change. Okay, so let's start talking about the form I-134A, which is online request 
it means it's available only online. Okay, so that's one of the things that is new. It is applicable for Ukrainian, uh, Uniting for Ukraine program, where you are filing basically for a uh, Ukrainian citizen. If you're here, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what your relationship is. If you are willing to sponsor someone in Ukraine, you can definitely do that by filing this form. Also, you can do that for Cuban, if you're Cuban, Haitian, Nicaraguan, or Venezuelan, or their immediate family members, same as immediate family members of Ukraine, as part of the process for Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans. Okay, so it's two programs, obviously for a few separate countries, but as you can see, Ukraine they did separately, and uh, Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans is kind of one in one uh, package. A few requirements that uh, you must keep in mind if you want to do that, uh, you have to be located inside the United States. All right. Beneficiaries may not file Form I-134. 34A on behalf of themselves, uh, meaning that if I am in Ukraine, I cannot be my own sponsor. Obviously, makes sense, all right? Or if, if I'm Ukrainian, for example, in the United States of America, I can't file it on behalf of myself. Hopefully, that makes sense. Um, now, to be eligible for consideration under the Uniting for Ukraine or the process for Cuban, Haitians, and Nicaraguans and Venezuelans using Form I-134A, beneficiaries under the age of 18 must be traveling to the United States in the care and legal custody of their parent or legal guardian and be able to provide documentation to confirm their relationship. Okay, makes sense. If you are agreeing to support a beneficiary seeking humanitarian parole who is not applying for parole under U Uniting for Ukraine or the process process for Cubans, Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans, you must file a paper for I-134, which is Declaration of Financial Support, along with the form I-131, Application for Travel Documents, through the appropriate lightbox location. Okay, all of that makes sense. Now, a few things. Filing is only available online. I already mentioned that. Here is the button right here. You can click on it. It will take you to the um, to whatever online login platform. I'm gonna click and I'll show it to you where you will have to create a USCIS account. If you don't already have that, once you create that, you will you you will have to confirm your email and stuff like this, and then online filling out the application form. Very straightforward, just the personal information for yourself, personal information for the beneficiary, whoever you're filing this form for. Now the filing fee, you're probably wondering how much it costs. It costs absolutely nothing, it's zero. Yes, so very, very uh, convenient. All you have to do is just have willingness, all right, to be a sponsor or supporter, that's not even a sponsor, supporter, um, go for for someone in Ukraine or um, Cuba ha ha Haiti uh, Nicaragua or Venezuela okay um, so I highly recommend obviously you'll have to do it all yourself uh, as you can see the representative account is not supported for filing that form I-134A so there isn't uh, you can't have someone else create an account and do that for you, all right? You will have to do it yourself. So, which is, it's kind of unique in a way. Uh, it's not usual for USAS to do it this way because most of the times, all the forms, all of the applications, petitions that they have, most of the times, a representative, an attorney can file it on behalf of you. Here, they cannot do that. It's very, very unique in that way. And they made it so specifically to show your initiative to support someone. And I, I think in a way it is really, really good. Uh, the only problem, like I said, it, will, it might create for those people who are not very uh, friendly with computers because here you have to go to the website. I'll try to make it easy for you. I'll put the links in the description below. So all you have to do is just click on that link. And if you can do that, you will figure out the application. Really, it's not that hard. All you're doing, you're putting your personal information in there, you're putting your beneficiary's personal information, and I highly recommend watching the video that I made called Uniting for Ukraine, specifically about that Ukrainian program. It's specifically for Ukrainian program, but 
as you can see, it is also applicable. It's the same exact uh, process that is for Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, we'll be happy to address them. Uh, every week, I try to uh, make a video where I go through all of your comments and answer your comments one uh, by one. So check out those videos as well. You might find some helpful answers over there. Uh, too. As always, thank you for watching. God bless you and uh, I'll see you in the next video.